Hello, welcome to this mock tour about Maria von, von Oosterwijk. So she's one of the few women artists we have seen in our class. And she's from the 1600s, from the Netherlands. So Maria was very famous for her still life paintings, as you see here. It is an oil painting. And she is known for, for the details she puts in her work. So for example, you can see uh, the details she puts in her, in her flowers, the insect, the shell. So one question I asked for you and that I asked myself when I was looking at this painting is, why were people interested in flowers? Like in this detail of why do you want to have flowers in, in, your, in a picture? Why, why not just have flowers outside or, or wherever you have them? And what's interesting about this is that in the Netherlands, I don't know if you know, but there was a, a big bubble an economic bubble that burst in the 1600s. It was around at the 1630, which was when Maria was born. There was this big interest in tulips. People wanted to, to get strange tulips for their gardens. And uh, I don't know, the, the tulips that were the strangest and the most rare were the ones that people wanted to buy. So there was th the market started to price the tulips a lot higher. So if you wanted to buy a, a really strange tulip, you could buy it for what would be thousands of dollars, real expensive for, for flowers. And then people realized that, OK, it's just a flower. And <laughs> like, why, why are they so expensive? And the market crashed. And it was one of the famous uh, first crashes of, of, a, of a market, because markets were just starting as we know them here now in the modern world. So we see that in this society, there was a big interest, interest in flowers and people uh, had their own gardens and they wanted to show off their wealth by having these new strange flowers. Actually, I don't think we, we have a tulip here, but we do have flowers from different parts of the world and we have also, in conjunction, conjunction to this, the, the scientific revolution or the, sci the, the increase in scientific knowledge. And with this, we see how they are able to depict flowers, in insects in a in a way that focuses on, the, on how flowers actually are. In, I, I think this painting shows the interest of the people in nature, in the natural world, in the color. In we also see that it's an, it's an oval composition and that the background is in a, is in a color that highlights the beauty and the, the goodness of the colors of the, of the natural things we see. So we go to the next painting it's also a still life this is called vanitas still life also by, by maria and what sh what's curious about this painting is that it is called vanitas so vanity but it is also depicting flowers so i don't know i found it funny that she she's painting uh, the, the other painting of flowers and in this one she she says yes flowers are good, but they are also vanity. So what is she saying with this? She also has, for example, here the skull, which makes reference to death, the uh, sand clock, which ma makes reference to, to the passing of time, a butterfly, uh, instruments that they used, a book. And so, and she names this, this painting Vanitas. I think, uh, and I don't know, I'm not sure this is the, the correct interpretation, but that's how it seems to me, that she's, she's talking about the Bible and about how all things are vanity and how the, the things we have here in this world, even though they can be good, they can be beautiful, they're not the end. We're not here for that. And I think that's what she's speaking to us about in this painting. Thank you.